So today we will see uh, the high availability concept for both HDFS and the YAM. So HA, so it is so. Uh, what is high availability? It means so in the previous case, in the one dot x, your name node was a single point of a failure. Okay, uh, so please don't misunderstand. Secondary name node has a different concept altogether. It is not a backup name node. So name node was a single point of a failure, which means that if the name node is down, uh, you will uh, the HDFS will be inaccessible. So you are not you will not be able to do any operations on the HDFS. Okay, now <clears throat> um, so if the name node goes down, then there will be always a downtime. But you don't want any downtime when the cluster is up and running. So uh, what you will be doing in the HA configuration, in the, and this HA configuration is all, only available after 2.x versions of Hadoop. So in the HA configuration, you will have a, a name node active, one active name node, and then would be a standby name node. Okay, so 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 there will be two name nodes, two name nodes will be running. will be running in an active and passive fashion. So if one the active goes down, the passive will take over and become the active. So at any given point of time, but remember only one name node will be active name node. So in HA configuration, in HA configuration, there will be no secondary name node. So in the HA configuration, there will be no secondary name node. Then the question is, who will do the activity of merging the edits file into FS image file periodically? So if there is no secondary name node. So the standby name node, uh, the standby name node will do the activity or will perform the response, will perform the activities of secondary name node but there will be no secondary name node but the uh, standby name node will perform the activities of secondary name node yeah okay so we are going to see that how to configure um, uh, name node in a high availability mode I have just explained that prior to Hadoop 2.x, your name was single point of failure, cluster is unavailable till cluster is unavailable till restarted, and there's always a cluster downtime, the name node goes down. So the motivation of having an HA is to have um, two or more redundant name nodes should be present in case of in, in case of crash or failure. So two or more redundant name nodes working in active and passive fashion. working in active and passive fashion so that uh, if active goes down the passive can take over the cluster activities and the client request and everything so that there is no cluster downtime so there is no cluster down that's the main important thing you don't want to have any cluster downtime when the name node goes down okay so the feature the hdfs ha feature gives you option of running two or more name nodes in an active and passive fashion in an active and passive fashion so, and also if active goes down, it allows a fast failover to new name node. That is basically your passive can become an active automatically. Okay, and the useful, it is useful for the plant maintenance also. And the third, for last bit is, you do, will not have secondary name node running now. In the HDFS HA, you will not have a secondary name node running. Uh, the passive name node will act as your secondary name node, which means that the passive name node will not only become the active name node in the case of the act in, in case the active name node goes down but also meanwhile it will be also perform the activities of the secondary name node and what is that uh, what is that activity of the secondary name node it's merging periodically merging the edits file into FS image file. Yeah. And I hope you remember that why we want the periodical merging of the Ritz file into FS image file. 
because the next time the cluster restart, it should not take too much of a time uh, to take up, right? It should not uh, be in the safe mode for longer amount of time. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so that's it. And how do we do that? The architecture wise, uh, the two or more machines are configured as one as an active, other as a slave. So, so what it is basically means to say that the two name nodes will be running in two different machine. So one will be active. Let's say this is an active name node, and the other will be a standby name. Okay, so they will be running two two machines. And active name node, you as if uh, active name node is this, is responsible for all the client operations, of course. And the passive or the standby name node maintains enough state to provide a fast failover. Now, question is, how can this machine can can become a can become active? Now, how this machine, in fact, or any other machine, can become an active can become a name node, can become a name node, or can can perform the activities of the name node. So, any machine. Uh, if they know the edits file and the FS image file, if they have the entire edits file and the FS image file information with them, then they can become the active name node. Then they can become the, uh, or they, they have the capability to become the name node. So what does it do when the standby name node, when um, in meanwhile, when the active name node is running, the standby name node will maintain the enough state. Enough state in the sense that standby name node will periodically, you will see that it will, periodically take up this edits file and the FS image file from the active name node and keep it with him. And so that uh, it has a enough time, it has enough state, uh, that's what it means, it, has, it maintains enough state so that as soon as it goes down, it has all the information uh, uh, with him, uh, the standby name node, so that, it can, so that it can come up automatically. So for that purpose, what they do is to have, they choose another guy, they, they choose another set of guys which are known as journal nodes. Now you will have a two other process. You have a new process coming into picture, which is a journal nodes. And the journal nodes responsibility is to make sure that at any given point of time, only one name node is active. At any given point of time, only one name node is active. And how they make sure? How it is done so what they do now active name node uh, or any of the name node will write the logs the edits log into journal nodes and what they do they make sure that at any given point of time only one name node only one guy is writing the one who is active he is the writer only one name node can write so using this, they make sure that at any given point of time, only one name is active and right now. So, uh, so what they do, so uh, what, what happens here, uh, active name node will be writing into the journal notes. Uh, generally, there are three journal notes running. So into, into, uh, now into the journal note, they, uh, sorry, active name node will write into majority of these journal notes. Then whenever there is a change in the journal note, the standby name node will read the edit file and keep it synced. So once this active name node goes down, the standby name node will read entire information and then it will promote himself to the active name. So that's what happens. I, the, uh, it's coming, the detail explanation is coming. So general nodes are another set of daemon processes and uh, this active and the passive name nodes communicates through this fashion, through general node to keep the, to keep the state synchronized. And also it makes sure that only one name node is active at any given point of time by allowing single name node to be writer. So they allow only one name node to write on to them. So this is just a question I have asked previously also. What is required by the stand name, standby name node to, to promote himself to active name node? It requires the edits information and the FS image information. So if, if this standby name node has these two informations available, then it can promote himself to the active name. And how information is passed? So here it says that how information is passed from your active name node to the passive name node. So you have active, you have your, let's say this is your, 
uh, active name node this is your passive name node or standby name node and there are majority of general nodes so these are my general nodes active node passive node so this is my active name node this is my standby or a passive name node so any namespace changes so whenever any operations on the hdfs is happening so you know that any operation that changes the hdfs state so it has to be logged into the edits file so any of this any namespace changes by the active name node logs are recorded as a modification to this node so the edits file will be written here now <coughs> so the edits files are written on the majority of these general nodes now standby name node these guys are continuously watching the general nodes for any changes in the edits file so they are watching here so as soon as as soon as anything is changed over here they get the information and then they what they say they they uh, modify on their own side so in case of a failure standby name node ensures that it has read all the edits file from the general nodes before promoting itself to active state now in this case now you know that in the previous case the data nodes are configured with the location of only one name node right so what was the name node uh, a name node address in the previous scenario before ha non ha fs dot default fs value was hdfs colon slash slash your host address name colon 54310 now you will see that it will be like now it's a namespace id will be introduced now so data nodes are configured with the location of both the name nodes now and um, um, so why they are configured with the location of both the name nodes so that in case um, one who is who is active so they can send the uh, heartbeat signal now during failover standby name node assumes the role of writing to the general nodes which prevent other name node from continuing the active state so whenever the fail when it, when it is getting the fail so he he is now what this bit is trying to tell you that he is currently the writer he is this active name node is currently the writer now during failover what will happen this guy will become writer so standby name node will become writer so that no other can become so that no other name node also can become can become an active state so at any given point of time general node allows only one uh, name node to become a writer you can hear me guys hello 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 Vipin, 